Hello and welcome back to Gomer Plays Earthbound! Uh, yeah, this is actually... This is recorded a little bit differently this time because uh, I recorded this and as you can hear everything turned out well in terms of the game um, but I forgot to turn on the microphone and fraps. So all of this is post, uh, post recording uh, commentary. Um, I decided to try a different route with the Mondo Mole as you saw I did the paralysis and it's like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot. See what happens. And um, and I, I think it worked out all right. <laughs> Instead of just going in there and just beating the crap out of him like I kept trying to do. Uh, technically, this is the third time I'm trying it. There was a second time, but it was like, you know what, if I'm doing this post-commentary anyway, I may as well just mention that and then just bring it up here. Um, ah, oh god, but the Mondo Mole, the first time, if you missed the last video, he kicked my ass. Holy shit. And bear in mind, I'm doing this, um, solo, right at this point. Um, <laughs> I think, and, and, and as I realized later on, I think I might have been able to pick up Paula before going after this guy. So, yeah, Paula might be a little behind because I was stupid. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, but there we go, we beat the Mondo Mole. Hooray! We're fucking Ray! Oh, uh, and Ness gains a level up. He would have gained a level up anyway. I think I think um, between then and now, I got I got him leveled up. And he got the PK script beta, which is a more powerful version. And here's the second year sanctuary spot. <laughs> oh, I kind of like this. This is kind of soothing. Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. You can go anytime now. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the Lilliput Steps. There we go. And of course I check around because, you know, like you do. Got 250. Everything's maxed out. That's a good thing about the boss battles in this. Now, oh, I like the. This is what I like. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to avoid them at first. But then I notice they're all running away from me. It's like, yeah, fuckers, you better run. <laughs> I am Ness. I will destroy you. I have the second year sanctuary spot. You better run. Better run, you motherfuckers. All the trouble you caused me getting to this? You better run. And I decided to just pick on a bear for no reason. Because fuck bears. A surprise opening attack. Um, and I wanted to try out the new Psy script. Or the PK script. Or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but boom. Mighty bear just bam. And he became tame. He was running from you. I don't care. Fuck those bears. <laughs> I don't remember if it was this way um, when I got the first year sanctuary spot. But it definitely happened here. And I couldn't be more thankful for it. Uh, I'm just very glad. It's like, yeah, you better run. You better run. Get out of here. Yeah. I am Ness, motherfuckers. I am motherfucking Ness. I will beat you in the skull with my motherfucking bat. I am Ness. I will kill you all later. Potentially. So with all of that done, we're back in Happy Happy Village. Was it scary? Nah, it wasn't. Uh, oh lordy. Even I want them all to listen if it requires kicking their butts. Yeah, that's a very American thing to do. You either listen to me or I'll kick your ass. You know. I've I've noticed fundamentals like to do that. You 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 know. You either listen to me and and. And um, and uh, and follow my religion and follow my religion's laws, or else we'll kick your, or else I'll kick your ass. Or, or if you want to be passive aggressive about it, um, you can do that, or, or you go to hell. <laughs> you know, you know that kind of passive aggressive bullshit. Um, but you know, hey, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I, I have a podcast for religious and, and political talk anyway. So, at any rate, I come here and I I'm just resting up and everything. Um. And I realized, oh shit, I, I still haven't found what's his face to, you know, go rescue Paula. And after a good rest up, I like the da 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 da. Um, yeah, the disadvantage of doing these uh, post uh, post recording commentaries is I feel I have to talk a little more often than I do if I'm doing it live. Oh, hello, Mister. Hello, Mister uh, uh, Cultist. Uh, what is it? Insane Cultist. Yes. Boom. He called for help, but no one came. 
Yes, just let this be a lesson, kids. If you enjoy, if you join an insane cult, you will be alone. And when you are really down, then then they will not help you. <laughs> I feel like I used that joke before, but it bears repeating. Uh, oh, but no, all seriousness though, if you're if you're a part of a religion or a cult or something, you know, whichever it is, as long as it's not harming you or harming anyone else, it it really, you know, no skin off my back. All right. Honestly, as long as it's not harmful to anybody. Uh, you want to talk to Mr. Carpenter directly? Boy, do you have a lot of nerve. You deserve to be struck by lightning. Oh, really? So, in here, earlier I had explored it and I had n no idea what the fuck to do. Um, there was a couple of presents here I couldn't get to. These guys were all in my way. Getting in my way, just, just get out of my fucking way. Um, then I noticed... In, and you'll see it pop up in a moment. Uh, that down there, you can get a little closer to that one than you could to the other ones. That's your clue. Blue, blue, don't bother us. We're in the middle of prayer. Okay, yeah, yeah. And and, and that's kind of the thing. Blue, blue, I'll stand somewhere else. No, I didn't want to do that. Lagoon, blue. I, <laughs> I was trying to talk to the guy up there, <laughs> but obviously wasn't going to work. Because, fuck you. Blue, blue, don't disrupt our meeting. I'll stomp on you. Well, they take their prayers seriously. You think... Do you think... Do you think somebody getting interrupted praying in a church would react the same way? I would hope not. Because that, that would be pretty bad. It could be worse. I mean, they could react by just shooting you. Um, which, you know... It's a lot worse than they do in this game. Yeah, what? Are you saying I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true. See? <laughs> Oops, that's not it. I'm still new at this. Green, green. Nope. Oops. Then there's a skip sandwich. Ah. The sandwich of skip. Skippy. Okay. Yes, I talked to you. Blue, blue. Time to learn how to whistle. You won't go to heaven. Oh, no. I can't decide whether you should live or die. Well, it seems like this guy's decided, though. Turn back to normal. With a good baseball bat to the head. Remember, folks, if you if you or someone you're no, if your loved one becomes part of an insane cult, all you really need to do is smack them in the head, and they will return to normal. Ah, uh, yeah, so slow, Jeebus. And I think that's just the capabilities. And this guy, I screamed because I didn't know what else to do. You could just say hello. And here's this guy, Mr. Carpenter. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue and change it to a happy and peaceful society. I don't know if that'll work. I like the color scheme, but you know, I don't think it'll I don't think just changing it blue will do it. Sorry, buddy. Will you be my right hand assistant? No. If you want to be my right hand, my left would be just fine. Just kidding, your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Just because I refused you? Wow. So okay. Yeah. Defy me and I'll end your pitiful game. Well then. Ha ha. Got Franklin. <laughs> and it works in battle too, by the way. So, what, did I, what do I do? Here's what I do. I'll show you what I do. I start by using a shield. Because why not? I'm, I'm starting to be a little bit more... Crash, boom, bang. Ha ha. And that didn't work. It didn't hit anyone, except it damaged him. It, didn't you see that? It, it it hit someone. It did hit him. Then his shield became stronger. Oh no. Life up? Uh-uh. Go bash your face in. Boom! And he painted me. And I'm going to keep bashing him until... Kaboom! <laughs> oh, he's playing his own petard. <laughs> I love it. Oh, do you see that many, many statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paula is being held. Take the key and go. What? Mountain key. Mountain key. Cabin key up in the mountain. Finally get my second character in the game. Her name is Paula. And holy shit, this cleared out quick. Looks like almost everyone woke up and left. <laughs> there are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay. I'll get out of here. Alright. That's 
up to you, dude. Sorry about everything. Let's be buddies. Okay. I, I can be very forgiving. There's a croissant. Oh, I like the croissant. Oh. So here we are. Oh, hey, it's Pokey. Oh, I somehow woke up. Ness, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay? I don't trust you. I trust you about as far as I can throw you. Ha! I lied! See you, sucker! See? Yeah. As I've said in previous videos, I know what happens to him and all of that good stuff and wh what he ends up becoming. Yeah. There's a reason I don't trust him. <laughs> I just don't. I just do not trust him. At all. Mm. Uh, so a lot of this video, there is some ba there are some battles, but a lot of it is talky talky talky, and walky walky walky. Um, there are some battles, especially coming back after this. Hey, it's Paula. Ness, you got the key. Are you hurt? Yeah. Sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Okay. What about the other way? Sorry for all the trouble. It's the same thing either way. So you got to use the key. And there you go. We have Paula! You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we could do it if we combine our strength. Maybe we'll use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Yeah, she's supposed to be the psychic powerhouse of the uh, of the group. In terms of offense. From what I've, what I've been read, I, I had... Ooh! Music! But what I've read up on it, uh, Ness is meant to be more defensive with the psychic power, and Paula is more offensive. So, yeah. Oh god. This guy annoys me. He annoyed me like a few times in this in this particular run. Yeah, 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 picture, picture, picture. Yeah, just go ahead and get it done and over with. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles! Fuzzy pickles! Whee! Uh, yeah. I run into him a few times in this video. Hey, it's a bird! Fuck you, bird. We're gonna go. It, if we can get in the door. Uh, and of course, she has her teddy bear with her. Because of course she does. <laughs> oh, lordy. So we get out of here. Yeah. You know, it seems different. I didn't notice it when I first went through, but it seemed different seemed normal wow although to be fair i like the color scheme you know blues blue is one of my favorite colors so mm, magic butterflies and so you walk out to holy shit that was like four enemies right there at the at the door i was like what the fuck are you guys just like waiting to ambush us holy shit so i get to try out the psi script you know the beta <laughs> Uh, so I freeze is all she's got, so, so we'll see what happens. Oh! And Ness is like, fuck you! Oh, I love this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whew, 260 experience points. Paula, I think at, by the end of this, by the end of this, she actually ends up at level 5. PSI Fire! Oh, baby! Oh, baby! <laughs> Oh, yes. It is good. Now just run. Oh, shit. Hey! And we still got the advantage on this. Which was pretty awesome. Ah. Uh, so, you know, we take all advantages we can get. And I think I just have her try burning somebody. Burn. Burn. Just burn people. Burn. Burn people. <laughs> Well, she doesn't get the chance, because, uh, yeah, Ness's psychic powers are pretty powerful at this point. Um, you know, that, that PSI script or, or whatever the default name is supposed to be for it, um, you know, it's supposed to be like one of Ness's most powerful attacks, so. No, no, no. Oh, tree. I hate the trees. The trees explode when you finish them. I want to run. But of course. You cannot escape the tree. You cannot escape the branches of the tree. Ever. Once the tree has you. A smash attack for 1 HP of damage. That That is just amazing. 
Ah, uh, so set it on fire. If it doesn't, um, blow up first. And it kills the teddy bear! The teddy bear is dead! No! Poor bear is dead. Poor teddy bear is dead. And this is where it gets a little on the heavy fight side. Ah, uh, uh, it's probably the most fighting you'll see happen in this video. Oh lordy, because it's like there are, there are some fights later on in the video, but here it's just wow. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, I try to avoid as many fights as I can to keep my HP up, um, and of course for time. Um, if it, eh. If I, if I ever feel the need to grind or what have you, I will do my best to do it off screen. Um, and all of that really good stuff. Mm. Oh, so yeah. Um, what did we talk about on the way back over there? <laughs> um, well, since this is just pretty much walking back to Tucson, uh, pardon me while I get some water. Mm. Oh, I needed that. So, um, so yeah, I, would, I do want to talk about a couple of things that I've been using, uh, not using, but mentioning at the end of the previous videos. Uh, that's you know my stuff and uh, Becky's stuff as well. Um, ah uh, yeah. So to explain a little bit about it, uh, for those who don't know, who, who have never heard of Patreon, are like, well, what's this Patreon thing? Well, Patreon is where you, the fan, the viewer, can go and you can help your favorite artists and producers directly. Um, I am far from the only one who has it. <laughs> um, and, and in return, we can give you like extra perks or whatever. The videos will be coming no matter what. Um, even if my Patreon were to drop to zero uh, before this video goes up, um, it would still go up because I really want to, you know, I really do enjoy doing this. So no matter what, the videos, the videos that I put up are free no matter what. Um, uh, but perks that you can get for being a patron can be things like, you know, um, you know, early access. And like I've said in other videos, uh, this actually, I tend to upload my uh, Let's Plays in in batches. So this, this, this may not be a batch one itself, um, but like my Zoda's Revenge videos, for example, uh, I actually batch uploaded them last week, I think. Um, so... So that was, so that was a thing, and so of course for just one dollar per production, and you can even limit it. Um, you know, like if, like say you want to be at the one dollar level, but you can only afford say five dollars a month, then you can do that, and it and it's no problem. In fact, you know, a lot of my patrons do that, <laughs> so and that's totally fine. It's very acceptable, and and please do not do not break yourself over me or anybody else. Um, you know, we appreciate the money, but we don't want you to go broke. Uh, and see, the guy fixed the bridge, too. Um, we don't want you to go broke over us. Please. Please don't. Um, so, yeah. And, of course, I do have other higher tiers. Uh, i got a couple of tiers. Like, one of them is a monthly guest spot on the podcast of your choice. I have three of them that you could choose from if you want. It doesn't matter which one. And, and the other one is just name a one-off game. A game you would want me to make a one-off video for. Um, it could be almost any game, uh, preferably not something like, say, Fuck Quest or anything. Uh, mainly because, uh, just no. I, I, I have enough issues with UMG tagging my Ducktales videos. I do not want to have to bother with porn games. Just, just saying. Uh, the closest I come is to games like. Oh, I was about to say, did something happen? No, it was just the magic butterfly. Uh. Close as I come is like Saints Row 4 or whatever, which is going to be after DuckTales. Oh god. So, you know, nothing pornographic in nature. Um, and we're back at Tucson. Uh, but real quick, there is the $5 one. Um, the $5 uh, level where you can have advertising. Uh, right now it's set at site and, you know, a blurb on each podcast. Uh, I'm going to try and set up a way I can do these at the end of each video as well. Um, so... So yeah, if, if you want to be a $5 per video patron and you get your stuff up on here, that's great. And like I said, you can even, 
You can even uh, limit it to where it's only $5 per month. So, you know, for just like $5 a month for ad space. And all this ad space, it's really good. You saved Paula! I don't really understand it, but I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. My very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. I know, I'll call it a hand-aid. A hand-aid. Oh, he's sorry that he suspected Mr. Everdread in Berglund Park. Yeah, I'm not sorry. Because <laughs> it gave me experience. Oh, Paula! Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world, like in Paula's dream. Sure am. Paula, I'm sure you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Whew. This is putting my motor mouth skills to the test right here. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In three to the next town, we'll meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry. I won't cry anymore. Except you totally will once we're gone. <laughs> because of course you will. Ah. Uh, so, oh. I didn't talk to her. Yeah, I, I need to. Yeah, that's the same thing. Um. So yeah, to to finish up. Uh, who am I talking to? No, I wanted to check goods. And show off that a hand aid. I, what, yeah, what is it? It's hand aid, handmade band-aid. Heals your wounded body, gone after one use. So, wait, heals your wounded body. Wait, is that like a revive? If I would realized that before, that would have made something so much more easily. Everdread is looking for you. He's got something for you. Okay, good. So we'll go, oh no. Yeah, while we run out, um, run out outrun that guy. Anyways, $5 advertisement. And I will try and see what I can do to put them at like the ends of these videos or something. Um, I know other people do it, and I was kind of holding off on it because other people do it. But, you know, hey. It, these videos might get you a little bit extra exposure as well so and and, and it's not a choice it'll you know as for, in terms of which one you want um, you do the five dollars you get all of them um, you don't have just one you, you can actually get all of them um, and he's gonna go look for the many many statue at another time in another space and you get a lot of bills which means oh shit we can go and pay off the debt of the Runway 5. Woohoo! Oh, uh, yes. Which I think before I do, I go and I get some supplies together. I know before I leave Tucson, I get some supplies together. Uh, but we'll see that. As I was saying, before I keep getting interrupted by plot. $5 advertisement. And by the time this is up, I'll probably have the Patreon updated to where, you know, you send in something. Which, will it'll be on the Patreon page itself. And you can get not just, um, you know, not just the podcast stuff, not just the website banner, um, but you also get, you know, space at the end of these videos. And that's all of them. Um, all the videos I put up here. This, um, all the other Let's Play videos, uh, the Port Charles vlogs that I do. And, oh, God damn it, I'm on an escalator. Uh, the disadvantage of using this on an emulator is that you don't have to end the game and turn it off. Um, you know, and of course, the longer you play, the more, the more you have to worry about, uh, you know, your father calling you and saying, hey, I think you should turn off the game, trying to do the anti-poop socking thing, which, you know, even back then, you wouldn't necessarily have to turn off the game. You could just sit there and pause it and just go do what you needed to do and then come on back because this is an RPG. <laughs> I don't know why I decided 1500 was a good idea, but oh well. Um, so yeah, all of this stuff I can give to Paula, a frying pan, of all things. <laughs> How stereotypical. Oh, and a slingshot, too. I don't know if the slingshot is better than the frying pan. I didn't want to try it because fuck the slingshot. I kept, miss I kept missing with it. Um, can I get you anything else? Uh, what else did I get? I think I also got the cheap bracelet. Yes. Wait. Baseball cap and ribbon. Okay, the ribbon. Yeah, of course, Paula gets the ribbon. 4 to 24. A ribbon gives you a defense bonus of 20. Oh, wow. So, cheap bracelet, of course. And Ness already has one, so Paula gets it. Yay! Can I get you anything else? Nope. And I hardly ever get anything from here. Uh, cold remedy, teddy bear. Just want to be your teddy bear. Ooh. Oh, wow. 
So, um, so yeah. <laughs> Again, the Patreon stuff, that should be updated by the time you guys see this. Um, patrons, of course, will have it a, a little earlier. Um, so yeah, that, that doesn't really affect the patrons who are already patronizing. Um, and, well, except for one. But, but for those who want, and you want to give like $5 per video or whatever, and again, you can limit it. So, you know, it, you can limit it to $5 a month. You get all this advertising stuff. It's great. I think it's a great deal. <laughs> Especially the amount of videos I tend to put out in a month. So, you know, hey, it works for me. It works for you, you know. So, so yeah. Anyways, that address is patreon.com slash gomer21xx. That's down in the doobly-doo. And I will most likely pimp it all out again later. Um, you know, towards the end of the video. I, I just kind of wanted to go a little bit more in depth. And I tried to do it by the time we got back to Tucson, but as you can see, that failed spectacularly. Uh, so before I go into the theater or whatever, I decided to try and get some... I decided to go get some ketchup packets for the hamburgers. Which, these little flavor packets... And by the way, I, I get a for sale sign first. So, hmm. Yeah, and I thought that guy, you know, was like, hey, I'll give him a for sale sign. Why not? Only $98. Uh, use this for sale sign. Customers will flock to you. And I accidentally used it at first. Um, so I, because I figured, okay, use it and it'll give it to him. A customer is heading this way. And and you do that, you can automatically sell m something for money. If you need money and you're too far from an ATM. <laughs> uh, I think I, yeah, the skip sandwich. I haven't had a use for it yet, but I'm sure I will eventually. 19 bucks, sure. It was worth the trip. Yay! I wonder if I could do that when I'm out in the mountains. I'm gonna try it next time. Uh, see, seasons sprinkle automatically. Sweet! So I don't have to worry about it. Ketchup packets. Two bucks each. It's like, no, not a big deal. Um, I get four of them, one for each hamburger. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, that was a while spent on Patreon, wasn't it? Um, this is, this is why I don't normally do the post-recording uh, commentary. Uh, I like to have it done right then and there and and just have my have my um, um, reactions as things go um, instead of looking back and trying to remember okay what was this what was my what was I feeling or what did I want to talk about with this or what have you. Um, it, it has the advantage of potentially being more scripted but I really don't like doing my Let's Plays that way. I, I prefer to just get in there, play along with it. Um, the only reason I'm even doing it like this is because, like I said at the beginning of the video, I forgot to turn on, uh, I forgot to tell uh, Fraps to pick up the microphone. So, oops. <laughs> it was really stupid. But, you know, I'm, 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 you know, it's interesting that they gave Paula and Ness their own separate beds because they're kids. They're like, you know, like young teenagers, I think. And you know, if they had the same bed, if they had, um, you know, the same bed to sleep in or whatever, you know the moral guardians would get all up in arms be like, oh no, it's a little boy and a little girl sleeping in the same bed. Oh no, we can't have that. Ugh. As if a little boy and a little girl sleeping in a bed is automatically sexual. It's not. But even if it was, who cares, you know? That's what fan fiction's for. Really. <laughs> so of course, ABS always be saving. Gotta save. Yeah, created a thing. Oh, oh almost ended it, but it's no. <laughs> Did not want to do that. Oh. Uh, so, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, so now it's time to head over to the theater. Finally. <laughs> Again, like I said earlier, this is really kind of tedious to go through, but, you know, whatever. And of course, it's like, okay, who do I give the money to? My first thought was, give it to the guy. You know, the guy who owes, you know, that, you know, is, is there that the Runaway 5 owes to, like you see here. I want to pay off the debt. Uh, so I try to give it to him. And a lot of bills. Use, pardon, you don't want to, you want to talk about money? Even, at, you know, it's like, uh, wow. It's like, I'm willing to pay off their debt. No, after the show, they must be my slave monkeys. Uh, please present your ticket. I don't have a ticket. He lost his ticket. Uh, I forget how I... I think I actually... I think I did, yeah. 
You talk to these guys. You're the girl today. You must be pretty popular. <laughs> because, of course, uh, this is mid-90s. Uh, and it is, it is Americana, I guess. I don't know. Mid-90s Americana, is that a thing? And here he is again. <laughs> Just randomly pops in, takes pictures. And here's what I don't get. Why is Ness the only one posing? Paula doesn't pose, and I'm gonna guess Jeff and Pooh won't pose either. It will bring back the fondest memories. Yeah, the memories of taking a large water bills and paying off the Blues Brothers ripoffs. <laughs> but hey, at least they got me a black backstage pass. Uh, so... Yeah, that's when I learned... Oh, wow! I really loaded up with Paula. <laughs> oh, wow. Shit. Uh, oh, hey, look! That guy... Uh, I'll... I'll come back to him in a minute, but uh, there's a guy over there that looks kind of like Mr. Miyamoto. Came here because it's tough to get in, but I'm kind of disappointed. There are no good looking waitresses. There's no room for me to show off my latest dance moves. Oh, Miyamoto-san. <laughs> he does look like Miyamoto. Look at that. At least he reminds me of Miyamoto. I mean, I mean, you know, you know pause it here, look at a picture of him, compare the two side by side. Uh, and there you go, you know? <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, so, of course, it's one of those things in RPGs. You talk to everybody. Um, I haven't been doing it, but yeah, then again, I, I'm a little impatient. Uh, although, I've mostly the most RPGs I've been playing are games that I've played before, like Pokemon games, uh, Defenders of Oasis. So, I sometimes do forget. And, of course, in the course of a Let's Play, talking to everybody gets a little... You farted. Good job. It gets a little tedious, especially when you have to read everybody's thing. <laughs> oh, so it's it's kind of a give and take situation when it comes to actual RPG, yeah, uh, know how. Uh, yeah, tick, tick. Okay, so we get somebody who gets it. We get somebody in to the backstage. Oh my god! So you see, I'm so excited. I might wet myself. Are, are you sure that's the terminology you wanted to go for? You might wet yourself. But $10,000, I have $10,000. This is where it gets really, really frustrating because I have the money. Nobody's taking the money. <laughs> As you will see, nobody will take the money. And, it's, and I got really frustrated. Uh, oh, if we had the money, if only we had the money. I have the money. I want to give it to you. Here, give the money. Don't try using your play money here. That's not real money, is it? Wow! That is real money. I'm trying to give it to you. You assholes. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. So, yeah, again, this is a little tedious for me, at least in the terms of a Let's Play. Uh, if it was by myself, I probably wouldn't be complaining as much, but it's in the term of a Let's Play. It's like, I want to get through it, you know? Um, at least this particular point. Oh, uh, yeah. But I guess it shows that RPGs, at least ones that I've not been through in a while, aren't so... Aren't, may not be a good choice for me, but who knows? It may change in the, in, in the future. Um, but this particular video, yeah, a lot of it, I, not a lot of battles, like I said before. Um, and it's just really, really tedious at this point. I, I know, I keep repeating myself. Because there's not much to say other than just, it's fucking tedious. You keep trying to give them the money, they don't want your money. I can make another song now, 10 G's, 10 G's, that's dollars, baby, dollars, yeah, 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 yeah. Wants some bread, I want more dough all the time. So I try to give it to everybody. It doesn't work. That is exactly what I want. Can't believe you have that much. Now yeah, I'm trying to give it to you so you can pay off your debt, asshole. Uh, I'm a scat man. Yeah. Just obligatory scat man reference. And apologies for any noise in the background. Garbage day. Yeah, that's right. Tonight, you got Chaos Theater's Soulman coming at you. Yeah, this is what I should have done at first. Just walk right back out after talking to everybody. The Runaway Five, and here they come. Oh, yeah, baby. You don't even take a seat. You just watch them. And... Oh. oh. I gotta run. 
Ah, I can't even do it. <laughs> uh, this, like the actual commentary that I tried to record, is um, I'm doing it pretty much in one take, so yeah. Uh, I'm not even going to bother to try to do something this time. Um, but that's fine. Um, and I know I'm talking over the music because I, I feel like I have to. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, they, they do good capturing the feel of it, you know? So, I'm not too bad. And they say Runaway 5? There's, fucker, there's six up there. There's two guys and then four bandmates. How is that five? I mean, even if you take to the original two, that's two. How is it Runaway 5? Okay, yay. <laughs> I don't know, I think I'll I'll try and keep that clip and maybe try and do a little music thing with it sometime. Um, dun -dun -dun. Come in quick, don't be shy. Okay. So let's try talking to him again. What do you think, you wanna see one more show? No. Uh, I had already sat through one, I don't need to. Oh, Mr. Poochie Fudd. Oh, the manager's looking for me. And she still might wet herself. I have a feeling wet is not the word she really wants to use. I think the word she needs to use is Starting with a C. So long, Mr. Miyamoto. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Yeah, get out of my way. Backstage pass and all that shit. <laughs> so now that we've seen the show, we'll stay here till they pay me back. Unless you decide to pay off their debt. Oh, hey, that's what I've been trying to do this whole time. You know. Yipes! You surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. Got the money, of course. Another runaway five are free to leave. Okay, I have to wonder. Because not having worked as a paid professional actor in terms of like theater or whatever, can they do that? Can 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 a director or, or a house manager or whoever owns the theater, can they hold an act there until a debt is paid and force them to perform? I, I, I honestly don't know. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't know why it took me that long to do it. Yeah, I got no complaints now that I have my money. Yeah, uh huh. You're gonna have complaints because they were probably the only act in Tucson. And now there's no acts in Tucson. And you're just gonna be gone. You're just gonna be. Let's go to Threed! Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's ride to Threed. We can go to Threed. <laughs> I wanna th say that this is probably optional. I don't know. It seems like it would be, if unless you wanted to go and fight some ghosts. <laughs> Get out of my way, sidewalk! <laughs> that that's, might be what I named this episode. Get out of my way, sidewalk. Um, I'll, 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 you, you guys will know by the time you see this. But, yay! <laughs> uh, Another downside to doing these like uh, post-recording commentaries is the volume is a little lower than when it is when I'm actually doing it. So it's a little harder to hear some of the music cues that I really want to point out. It's like, grrr. But, but like this bus music. You know, all, all the blues type music including this, look, we're outrunning the ghosts. They don't even start chasing until after you pass them. I wonder how hard they are. Hmm. I might try and go back and fight them in the next video. Uh, I don't. I don't in this one, but maybe the next one. Ooh, welcome to Threed. And where do they drop me off? Not in front of a hotel. God damn it. Uh, looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, I'm sure she gets PK fire and all that. Look for them in Foreside. Okay, so now we're in Spooky Threed. Ooh, spooky. Hospital, bakery. And it's none of your business that we have a small house. Just keep all that whispering quiet out there. Uh, yeah, trying to recapture some of the magic of trying, of, of doing this with live commentary is such a pain. Uh, I will admit, so... Hey, I overheard the zombies whisper. Master Belch will give us our lives back. Master Belch is the zombie leader. Must be really pukey. 
<laughs> oh, built. Yeah. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Hi. Hello. Hello. And there's a circus in town too. Ooh. Da, 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 da. And it's right next to. Do I notice it at first? Yep. There's the hotel. Yeah, I noticed it. Uh, and yep, always be saving ABS. 120 bucks, Jeebus. So, yeah. Yeah, well, to stay there is 120, Jeebus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to end. That's the that's the downside of doing this emulated, uh, either through an emulator or I th even through the virtual console. Um, you would have to put up with that. And you don't necessarily want to end the game because you can always just save state anywhere. For the purposes of a Let's Play, I don't save state until it's like between videos uh, because I don't want to lose my spot. <laughs> Which actually does come in handy towards the end of this video. You'll see it when we get there. Uh, um, monsters, okay, yeah. We're fine with that. All your time running from zombies. I can't even get home! Uh, but zombies are slow in their ambling. I don't think they invented fast, fast zombies yet. Uh, I just... I don't know. Shoot him in the head. Slowly advancing toward the tent. Everyone, I repeat, the zombies are on the move. Okay. Glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. Eh. Let's get off the zombie. <laughs> zombies in the tent and then set it on fire. When in doubt, kill it with fire. Yeah. So, I, I talked over a little bit of it. Oh, hey, a snake. And... Kaboom! <laughs> Instant win! Uh, I wish some of those enemies that you could one-shot would, would have done that. Like, you know, in the, in the you know, over in Tucson. So there's the graveyard that I'm looking for. Uh, I, don't, I think I talked over, like, some of the hints that say you, you, there's, like, a sp spot in the graveyard. Or what have you. But here we go. First graveyard battle. And we're fighting a couple of trash cans. Putrid Moldy Men and its cohort, and the Smelly Ghost. It's like, okay, let's give it a shot. Oof. Yay. So here's some battles. These guys... What the hell? Uh, why am I having Paula bash? No, she should just set things on fire. Vented a terrible odor. Oh. Oh, no. S can't stop crying. Oh, really? Only three to the putrid smelly man. Really? Um, assist. Uh, what am I doing? Thunder. Yes, I thunder. Oh, and there goes the smelly ghost. Oof. That, that, that hurt. Jeebus. Do I actually kill it this time? I don't I know I kill one eventually, but I don't know if it's here or if it's somewhere else, but... Um, yeah. Oh no! And Ness! Oh, he, he killed Ness. He knocked Ness out before it. Uh. Poor Ness is dead. Poor Ness, the kid is dead. Oh, at least, at least Ness dying doesn't result in a game over. It just results in ghost Ness following Paula around. Paula, help me, Paula. You must take me to a hospital and save my soul. Uh, so to get get some money, talk to the doctor. I can examine each one of you for no, <laughs> no money. Because, you know, this is based off the American medical system, so, you know. What do you expect? Uh, you po? Then you can get sick and die. <laughs> uh, political commentary, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm trying to remember where I put that hotel. Uh, takes me a minute, but I do remember it's above the circus, so. Uh, God damn it, Ness. Why do you gotta be such a shit? And why couldn't the bus pull me in front of the hotel to begin with so I would know where it is? Uh, welcome to the automatic teller machine. Um, how much do I draw out? Uh, oh yeah, I, I draw like a thousand. And with all of this, I, I sit here and prepare myself. I get Ness back 
you know, I, I get Ness unghostified. And then I, I think, yeah, I think what I'm going to end up doing is, um, ah, ah, yeah. What I'm going to end up doing first is taking a drink of water because I fucking need it. Hmm. Ah. But also, um, getting supplies and weapons for them so they can better handle the... Who is sick? Ness. He's a ghost, you dick. But apparently that was the wrong person to talk to. Who do you want to see? Yep, 120 for the doctor's fee. Jeebus! I mean, to be fair, I mean, it's, it's better than the run-of-the-mill kind of uh, medical bills you would get in reality, so I guess 100... Ah! Hi, pumpkin kid! The trick-or-treat kid. And he managed to get the drop on me. I forgot about these guys. Because a lot of enemies were looking blue before. These guys are not blue. Ah, but okay. Uh, and he's gone. The trick-or-treat kid. Oh dear. But at least Paula's leveling up. So that's always a good thing. Uh, what's the... Yeah. I, and this is... My apologies to any Rangoons that happen to be watching this video. Oh, marionette. Uh. <laughs> oh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about in terms of Rangoons, um, watch the Isle of Rangoon. Um, yeah, shout out to, to those guys there. Let's kill it with fire. Smiling Sam, kill it with fire. Boom! Yeah, can you just die? Whoa, ooh, 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 hell no. Uh, I think I just... Yep, when in doubt, fire. Ow. Jeebus, she's, she's taking some serious damage. But she's dishing out even more, so... Uh, ha <laughs> ha! Ness levels up. Yay! Oh... And I go forth, try to find the drugstore. I think I finally remember to use my fucking map. We can't go through the tunnel. The band was really noisy, so the ghost didn't approach the bus. It must be great to be so happy-go-lucky. So the only reason you can't go through the tunnels is because of the fucking ghosts. I'm trying to hit the right button. There we go. And so... I find it, and I go there. To the drugstore! Whee! Because dancing. Dancing in a haunted street, why not? Welcome to Threed. Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here. Welcome to Threed. <laughs> okay, so we finally start upgrading uh, Paula's stuff. Holy shit, 349 for a copper bracelet. And I learned that I can't just have Paula carry it. Uh, Ness cannot equip this. Uh, because I want to be able to equip things, but it gives me an, it gives me a chance to try out the ketchup packets. Use it with Paula. There you go. Use it on the hamburger. Hum nom 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 nom. Maxes out her HPs, and it opens up two item slots. So that's good. Uh, and here we go. Yes, we shall equip it to, to, to 31. That's pretty good. Uh, what else did we get? Uh, what did I get? I did get the minor league bat for Ness. And yes, there's Mr. Garbage Truck again. Apologies. <laughs> uh, somebody's got to do it, right? Um, Did I get... I did get the... No, I did not. Okay, I did not get the copper bracelet. I thought I was going to. But I should have enough. That way, when I get out of the uh, place I'm in at the end of this video, sometime in the next video, I might be able to get both of them. Um, we'll, we'll have to see. Oh, uh, but yay! We're, we're all powered up. We're ready to go. I think I just gotta stop at the hotel first. Yeah. And just rest up, get ready to go. <laughs> and definitely have the money for it. One night stay, $120. Jeebus! You know, I, I think... That's like fucking Gaylord prices right there. It's just... What the fuck? Huh. And of course.
course, check around in here. Who else do we have to talk to? Hi. Careful while walking around outside, especially near the graveyard. Okay, whatever. I love how the window in that scene, you know, that, that room had a window that looked all bright and sunny outside. Except outside it's gloomy. <laughs> uh, you could tell that they just reused a map. Uh, they didn't really put any effort into it. But then again, not many people are probably going to be going to actually talk to people in the hotel room, I don't think. So, so we mentioned the graveyard. Here we go. After we try and... My mom told me, dude. My mom told me no open the door because zombies coming. Okay. Uh, why do people write kids like that? Uh, so we just check the graveyard. This is where I've been before. But, and checking a few graves. Eh, nothing here. Trash cans? No, thank you. That's just, I don't wish to fight trash cans right now. And I'm fighting a trash can and two white pixels. Turns out to be no good flies. <laughs> Represented by pixels. Um, uh, yeah. And of course, PSI script or PK script. That would be, that would be neat. Ah. So that takes, oh wow. This could not stop crying. Aw, thunder didn't hit anybody. That's, that's bollocks. And there we go. And he's got the crying thing. No! Oh. But yeah, Paul levels up. Woot! Uh. Healing. Oh, hey. Nothing happens because it... Because as I learned, um... Not, it, it doesn't carry over outside of battle. Which is good, thankfully. Uh, that's a lone grave. That apparently the photographer wants to take a picture in front of. I don't know why. Why? 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 What is the point of that? What the hell? <laughs> oh... So, of course, checking around. And there's not even a problem there. It's just, like, random grave. It's not even important. It's just... What the hell, dude? So, there's more graveyard. So, in we go. Ghost. Ghosty ghost. That is that is one of the good things about Earthbound. Is like, if you don't want to get into a battle, you can at least try to outrun the enemy before you even get into battle with them. Uh, I may have mentioned it before. I probably have, but it's worth reiterating. And, ooh, zombies. They look like classic zombies. He stares into your soul. He looks you over. Uh, can I talk to them? He looks you over. He looks you over. He stares into your soul. Your soul. <laughs> uh, yep. Get into battle with a couple more pixels. <laughs> I think I, I think I can just, I think you can usually just bash them because they're just flies, you know, which makes sense. Uh, even Paula can do some good damage with those guys, against those guys rather. What? Oh yay, she levels up yet again. Yeah, I have a feeling I probably should have picked her up earlier, but who, you know. You know, you know somebody who's played this game like a thousand times be like, you know what you sequence broke when you when you got the second your sanctuary spot and didn't get Paula? Probably. Uh so we're still checking around, seeing if there's anything else. Ghosts. Ah oh, I got surprise attacked by a pixel. Because that because that's how things work in this universe. Um yeah, I just say fuck it. We're going to do. We're, we're just gonna. Uh, uh, hmm. Nom burger. A life up. Even though nothing can be done. Ah. Uh. Boom. Two hundred thirty-nine damage. Holy shit. Damn, that's a good attack. That's a good amount of damage. What? 
511 experience each. That's pretty good. So, alright, nothing left. That's about this time, just head back to the hotel, because it is, it is getting close to time. Hi! There's a prostitute going into the hotel. Why is the music weird? And I'm... Okay, this is weird. And... Aw, oh, shit! You get ambushed. By... By... By a prostitute and her zombies. Uh-oh, you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? I don't know where I am. I really don't know. So... Yeah, before going through there, we're going to actually tackle it in the next video. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I, I hope this actually works out a little bit better. Uh, I'm not used to doing the voiceover after I do the playing. So um, hopefully this will turn out okay. Next time it should be live commentary. Uh, if you like this, you can like it, subscribe it, share it with your friends. Don't hog it like the burger at the Waffle House or anything. You know, share it around. Spread it around if you like it. Um, if you want to help support more directly, uh, head over to patreon.com slash gomer21xx. For as little as $1 per production, you can get videos like this at least a day early. I know this one came out a little late, but eh, that, things happen sometimes, uh, and I do keep to my word. Um... Also, if you like artwork and you like some of the artwork that's been done for some of my videos, uh, my title card artist and girlfriend is Becky Hopkins. Check her out at patreon.com slash beckyhop and beckhop.deviantart.com for looks at her artwork that she's done and, of course, to commission her. Go commission something from her. Seriously, you should. You will not be sorry. Um, also, check out her comic Otherworldly. Link is down in the doobly-doo because, like a dumbass, I've not memorized it. Oh, so with all of that out of the way, I think that's the quickest I've ever done one of these. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. <laughs>